All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, 12 Phone Calls to Epstein's Cell. Uh, FBI agent airs out Diddy. Let's we're here for it. Let's check it out. <laughs> Guys. Diddy and Epstein was dealers to the same market of the rich and the famous. We're talking record label executives. We're talking hidden cameras in every room of the house getting recordings of celebrities, executives, parties with celebrities and underage girls with drinks being spiked with drugs. This goes all the way back to the murder of Tupac and Biggie. We're talking about the entire rap and hip hop industry and the whole music industry. But to be clear, this is just opinions and speculation. These are not statements of fact. Okay. When I show sources in the background, like the court case, you should take those for just what they are. So court what's cases. happened? Okay, good. That's a good thing to say in the beginning of the video because it sounds like there's about to be a whole lot of opinions being given. Just now is that this man, Rodney Jones, who is a music producer that right. worked with Sean Combs, who is Diddy, he just filed this lawsuit. And he didn't just file it against Diddy. He filed against the executives at all of the companies and against the companies like Universal Music Group. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see, some, I see someone's name. Yep, Lucy and Charles uh, Grange. That's absolutely UMG. Executives at all of the companies and against the companies like Universal Music Group. His lawyers claim that he has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Diddy and his staff and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. It's illegal for lawyers to make these claims if they don't have reasonable belief that this evidence is legitimate. They could get disbarred for making these claims if they're not true. And some of that evidence is present in this lawsuit, like when Diddy allegedly shot a man. And then the LAPD saw that room in the photo, the bathroom with all that blood. They went with the explanation that Diddy told his staff to give, which was it was a drive-by shooting. Diddy made it clear that his head of security, Fahim Muhammad, had the power to make people and problems disappear. This guy. And all of Diddy's staff were instructed to contact Mr. Muhammad if they were ever pulled over by the police. Diddy often bragged oh, about no. having law enforcement under control. Although the deeper you look, the more- Oh, bro, they don't like hearing that. They don't. Or it looks like people above him and above law enforcement had right. him under control. Right. I mean, these cats even use the exact same employees athletes, international dignitaries like British royalty, Prince Harry, and music label executives. Lil Rod claims some of the biggest names in the recording industry sponsored these parties. The CEO of Universal Music, Lucian Grange, is named as a defendant. So is the former CEO of Motown Records, Ethiopia, Habert Merriam, and others. Lil Rod believes that Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties, including record CEOs and politicians mm. doing drugs and cavorting with and minors. The complaint argues that these freak-off parties young and up-and-coming talent attended and were promised career opportunities and access to music executives. There was a quid pro quo, according to the complaint. Lil Rod said not only were these music executives sponsoring these parties, they were handing Diddy large sums of cash that he used to pay for the workers and drugs. Now we are starting to witness the fall of an entire empire. 90s when he founded Bad Boy Records. And he was only 24 when he founded it. He started his career at A&R until he was then fired in 1993 when he was 24 and founded his own label, Bad Boy Records, later that year. Yeah, but you guys are acting like like they didn't come from like like copious amounts of money, right? I would say look into who his father was. When he was 24 and founded his own label, Bad Boy Records, later that year. So how does a 24-year-old found a massive record label on his own? And Look into who his father was, guys. All right. Four-year-old found a massive record label on his own. And the further into it all you dig, you realize that Clive Davis came out as gay later on. And there's a lot of rumors that him and Diddy were in a relationship throughout this time. Clive Davis has been running significant portions of the music industry since our parents were kids listening to music. Responsible for artists like Aretha Franklin, Alicia Keys, The Grateful Dead. But back in the 60s and 70s, like Janis Joplin, Santana, Aerosmith, Pink Floyd, like, come on. Read okay, it. so everybody, basically. Yeah. 
Jones specifically claims that they were trying to groom him to do gay stuff. Diddy allegedly showed him a tape from a secret recording that he just happened to have of, of Jones's idol. And apparently he also promised to make sure that Jones would win producer of the year at the Grammys if he did. Guys, are you, oh, you guys don't even see it. Okay, uh, I don't know if you guys can read small print, but this whole line number 70 is crazy. Oh my, oh, oh, oh my God. Gay stuff on camera. Stevie Although, J. Although, to be clear, he wasn't explicitly saying on camera. Mr. Jones discovered that Diddy had hidden cameras in every room of his home. I'm gonna guess that Diddy didn't learn how to wire a whole house with cameras on his own. It's just like Epstein. Now Diddy's gonna be taking a fall for a lot of scared and pissed off elites. Don't even right. entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. When you start digging into allegations of the CIA, the FBI, the Mossad having t tentacles in the music industry, you wind up at total rumors. MIT's agency created gangster rap to fill private prisons by glamorizing criminality. Claims like famous hip hop lyrics of the legendary hip hop outfit NWA were even scripted by a team of psychologists and war propagandists inside the CIA, according to this former agent. Obviously, these are just totally rumors and conspiracy theories, no truth to this whatsoever. Who might be the most influential person in the last hundred years of music? Because he ran Def Jam and made Jay-Z who he is, including Med Red Man, Method Man, DMX, Ja Rule, Ludacris. But then we've also got his protege, Julie Greenwald, that got elevated through this merger that he brokered and manage the Black Keys, Bruno Mars, Death Cab for Cutie, Jason Rantz, Kid Rock, Lupe Fiasco. That would be this Julie Greenwald. Everybody. And then we've got Lucian Grange, the CEO of Universal Music Group. He this is a guy who hates every single reaction channel on YouTube. He hates us. He's the one that is directly implicated and named in this lawsuit. It is alleged that he attended these parties with underage girls and with um, Scooter Braun is a really big player in the modern music industry. Martin Garrix, Kanye West, Black Eyed Peas, David Guetta, Lil Dicky. So you might not remember, but back in the 90s, um, Tupac and Biggie were both coming up and right. they were both talking about leaving their records and starting their own. And Tupac was starting to speak out a little bit maybe about the state, the nature of the industry. Right, being forced to work with artists that were absolutely terrible, bro. Listen, so recently I've been listening to a lot of Tupac. You guys have been sending me uh, a lot of music from the artist Tupac. I guess, guys, I'm from New York. I grew up in New York in the 90s. I, the first time I actually sat and listened to anything Tupac oriented was the year 2023. Guys, just keep this in mind, all right? Um, so hearing him speak, and I'm just like, bro, he's absolutely dope, right? But the problem here is everyone else that he's being forced to rap with is terrible. The, the outlaws, I'm sorry, bro, they're not very good. They're not very, I don't, listen, I don't I have no idea how important they were to hip hop, the West Coast hip hop specifically, but um, yeah, I would be angry and trying to leave my label to create create my own if I had to be forced to rap with uh, the outlaws if I rapped at the level of Tupac did, bro. Just gonna be honest. Diddy was close in the middle of that, and there's a lot of rumors that he ordered the hit on Tupac. Diddy sort of rose to power on the power. Yeah, Eminem also said that. Power vacuum of Tupac, and he has been manipulating and running a huge portion of the industry from the inside ever since. And this court case directly alleges with lots of evidence that he has been running a blackmail scheme that entire time there because there's not just him acting alone and pushing out, ostracizing, blacklisting, attacking artists that wouldn't. People's going as far as to say that Diddy is actually a lot worse than Epstein. Pratt. Ooh, that's great. That's a great really? question. <laughs> I love that. That's a great question. Kyla, I do love you. Amazing. Uh -oh. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much because we got stripes together. But I'm going to pick Megan because Megan and I, you're, the world's going to see, we're going to be like the George Clooney, Julia Roberts pair. You know, tough is relative. Okay. Tough, tough is like what's up, you know what I'm saying? It might be okay. tough for somebody to do 50 pushes. It ain't tough for me to do Hey, right, right. It ain't tough for you then. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. P. Yeah. Diddy party. Yep. You hanging with P. Diddy, private party, you and him, or the island. You mean Epstein Island? Mm -hmm. I'm going Epstein Island for sure. <laughs> Dang. No question.
What happened? Question. I'm there. Tell me. Wait, hold on. Why you there? What you mean? <laughs> is this an old video? Because, uh, bro, it, it, this didn't age well at all. If that's the case, I mean, I mean, I've seen your face. I have no idea who you are, right? But just be fully aware. What you just said is absolutely abysmal, right? It's disturbing. This better not be new, but I'm looking at the the, uh, the microphones that they're using here. These are microphone uh, uh, from the company Rode. These are moderately new, probably within the last half a decade. Uh, so, nah, bro, what you just said is crazy. You know this. You know what happened. I'm, I'm going to Epstein Island all day long. I'm there. Your thoughts on this story here. So it wasn't just this guy that was saying it. Lil Rod, the former producer, were wired with cameras. And he had some of the footage, he had some of the pictures, and he displayed those. And this was used for blackmail material. They'd bring in these people. A lot of these people were also aspiring young artists in the music industry. By Motown Records CEO, Universal Records CEO. This goes all the way to the top. The drinks were laced. The <laughs> videotapes were hot. And then at the end of the day, you wake up the next morning, oh, what did I do? And then they can guide your career. They could kill your career, but they got you. And it wasn't just people in the music business. As you said, there were athletes, there were celebrities, there were politicians. And we were also told by the former bodyguard that Diddy was an FBI informant and was feeding information to the feds. And we don't know what that means. We haven't been able to confirm it, but even- yeah, Guys, we keep hearing that a lot. Little Rod said, it's not just like Epstein. It could be worse. After years of keeping his activities under wraps, FBI is no longer protecting this guy. And we're wondering who the government's going to employ as their next sex trafficking dealer after Epstein and Diddy's both going down. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you fake hard? You, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that da, 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 is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. Co so y'all shut the f*** up about me. You shut the f*** up about, <laughs> you shut the f*** up about Michael. Right, right, right. But mostly Godfather Michael now. Over the past several weeks. Bro, you said a lot that is going to have to be removed. The nation and the world really have learned that Sean Diddy Combs was this vile, disgusting, countless individuals, including teenagers, and now he's been exposed. Now he's also being exposed as a woman beater. As we often see in these situations, just as Jeffrey Epstein was reporting to handlers in Jerusalem and Mossad office buildings around the world, that Diddy had some reporting to do as well. This isn't a guy who was just extremely close to a wide range of celebrities and entertainment executives, just like that. Harvey Weinstein, Diddy was a close associate and a big supporter of the Clintons and the Obamas. In 2008, he was one of Obama's biggest celebrity campaigners. He had a photo shoot when he went to vote for it. And they go back even further than that, actually. They appeared on TV together in 2004 when Diddy, from the very beginning of Obama's launch onto the national stage, Diddy was right there with him. Diddy and... Oh, okay. I mean, there was a lot being said here. All right. And some of these things are starting to kind of correlate to other things, the same things that people are actually saying that, that don't even know each other. <laughs> um, so, yeah, bro, 100 percent. Whatever whatever went on is weird. Whatever went on is unfortunate. Um, and obviously, if people are being affected by it, if people's uh, careers are being basically manipulated, manhandled by this man and uh, uh, some videos that they may have. Um, yeah, that's a problem. You cannot walk around blackmailing people. That's weird, right? It's not conducive to the social contract that we all signed, guys. Right? It's not. That's not reality. Right? It shouldn't be, at least. But but it seems to be. Well, if, I guess if you have enough money, right? Is that how, is that how it works, guys? But anyway, listen. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.